Hello, this is a quick screencast of how to create a clickable breadboard in Miro. So a breadboard is basically a sort of a wireframe, but then with text only. So uh, instead of screens, we've only got the names of the locations. So these locations could be screens or modals or, or pages. Um, and then underneath each location, you've got the affordances for that location. So in this case, you can view some identity summary uh, and these blue ones, these are links. So the way to create a link in Miro is um, if you want to link to a location, you can select, uh, in this case, I'm selecting the frame. And then you go here to the three dots and you can copy the link. I select the frame as the link because well, once you link in Miro, it zooms in to uh, whatever you've linked. So if you link just the text, it will zoom in too far. Uh, so what you'll see here is if we start at the dashboard, um, so we've copied the link and then what you could do here is you could uh, you could set up the link like this and enter it here if you want and then apply and then it becomes linked. So if you were to click this, it would go there. In this case, I don't want that. So I'm going to remove that link. Um, but these are all links that I set up intentionally. So this will take me to a different location and then I can go back to dashboard. So this gives you a very good, um, very good feel for how the app would work without um, making any decisions on how things are visually structured. So let's say we create edit organization, we save. So we've created the organization. Now go back to the dashboard. So I find this very useful and you can also zoom out to have the overview of all the different locations that you have set up already.